The eleventh topic is to find the arc lengths and also convert between degree and radians. Now this arc length formula is very important. L equals, that's the arc length is equal to a part of the angle which is known. Say for example, if you want to find this over here, 50 degrees, X will be 50. So this arc can be found out with that. But provided you need to know the radius. So if you want to find JK, you need to know the radius and this particular angle and easily you can solve. We will try to solve a few problems over here. Now, LM, let's see. Okay, before that, let's see this. They have told D is the diameter, D is the circle and NL is the diameter. See, this is the diameter. So if this is the diameter, it's a straight line. See, this, these are not straight lines. They are all uh, slanted. This is a particular straight line. And now let's solve for LM, the arc LM. The symbol is for arc, arc LM. Now the radius is given to be 5. Use your calculator and directly solve it up. Now over here, you know, X will be 100 because it's given 100 divided by 360. Multiply it with 2 pi and radius is 5. Now the answer would be 8.726. See now they have also told round it off to nearest 100. 100 means it has two zeros, right? So after the decimal point, that is 8 point, there must be two digits. Let's see. 7, 3 will be the answer because this is 6. If it's more than 5 or more than 5, the previous number changes. So it will be 7, 3. It's an in inches. So that is the arc length. Now similarly, let's solve the others. Now over here, look, the diameter is given to be 3 yards. So the radius is 1.5. That's the only thing. So now over here, similarly, you can solve. Or oh, before that, there's one more thing. Where is the arc MN? It's over here. Do we know this particular angle? No. But we know this total angle is that this is the diameter NL. Total is 180 degrees. Subtract the known angle 100. Then you will get this to be 80. So the angle over here is 80 so it'll be 80 divided by 360 multiply it with 2 pi and the radius is not 3 radius is 1.5 diameter is 3 don't make the mistake it'll be 2.09 yards so yards is a unit of measure as well so now similarly you can do the other problems and check the answers now kl over here is given and they have given jd to be 7. Now this is a radius so even this will be the same thing 7 and you can simply solve these problems. Solve all of this and just check the answers. Now we will do a degree a conversion. There are many methods. One of the easier method is what I can uh, tell you right now. Understand whenever you have a degree you need to convert to radian. The final answer must be in terms of pi radians. Now, see over here, the answers will be like this. Now, the conversion unit, you might know 1 radians, uh, sorry, 360 degrees is equal to 2 pi or 180 degrees is equal to pi radians and then you can convert. Now, there's one more easy method. So, if you know any degree angle, just divide this by 180, always, because 1 pi, pi is equal to 180 degrees. Okay, pi radians is 180 degrees. So all you need to do is divide it by 180, you'll get the answer. But this is not the answer, you should multiply this with pi. That's it. Okay, so because the conversion factor is pi by 180. And similarly, you can take anything, for example, say 30. Let's try 30. 30 divided by 180. It'll be 1 by 6 pi radians. Or pi by 6 because 1 into pi is pi. Same way you can try any others, you will get the same answer. 225 by 180, it's 5 by 4 pi radians. Now, the conversion from radian to degrees is still easier because you have this over here, say 3 by 4 pi, right? Instead of writing pi, write 180 because we know pi means 180 degrees. So, multiply it by 180, that's it. This will be 135 degrees. Same way over here, 2 pi means 360 degrees. Now, all the others, just solve it by yourselves. You know, you can try it. Pi by 3, that means 
it is 180 divided by 3 it's 60 degrees similarly please do solve all of these by yourself and check the answers